This is a camera cage, and if you don't already have one, I'm gonna tell you why it might be a good idea to buy it, because honestly, this is one of my favorite accessories I've ever bought from my camera, and it's actually saved my camera from being damaged multiple times now. If you're unfamiliar with what a camera cage is, it's basically a metal exoskeleton frame that wraps around the entirety of your camera body, and it provides a couple of new features. The first of which you can see with the Swiss cheese holes that it adds a lot of new mounting points on the sides, on the top, and on the bottom. Now this is actually really convenient because if you're looking to rig out your camera and make it a more cinema ready build, there are plenty of options for accessories that rely on a camera cage like this one to use them. In addition to the mounting points with all the threads I just pointed out, there's also cold shoe mounts. We have two of them on this cage, and we actually even have a Arca Swiss mounting uh, plate here and also a NATO rail on the side as well. So there's plenty of versatility in the types of accessories that you can mount to your camera cage, and that alone is a huge reason to get one. By the way, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm getting zero incentive or money to be talking about this. I just really like this product. And quite frankly, uh, it has saved me thousands of dollars because I've dropped my cameras multiple times with a cage on it. And thankfully the cage took all of the damage. And yeah, now the cage is scratched, but that was a $60 purchase on Amazon, not a $2,000 camera body from Sony. So in a roundabout way, the camera cage is actually saving me money. If you're perfect and you've never dropped your camera, I salute you and honestly, um, I am jealous that you've never had to go through the trauma that is the moment you drop your camera. But uh, I shoot motorsports and I'm running around a lot of the times on the track and when I'm there, things happen. And that's when the cage came in handy. It was super helpful to pick up the camera and see that I could keep shooting the rest of the weekend because it was actually the first day of three that I was supposed to be there and I thought I might be out a camera. Before I bought a camera cage, I was actually super hesitant because I didn't really want to have to grip a weird metal exoskeleton around my camera, but that's actually the opposite in practice because I love the grip that this provides. It adds a little bit of width on the side here, and then my favorite part is actually this top plate. I find myself grabbing my camera like this to just carry it around all the time. Now, this is not the most comfortable grip in the world by any means, but if you wanna quickly set your camera down on the ground and then reach and pick it up like this, it's really convenient. And um, I'll throw a lens on right now, real time, to show you that it works even when you got a lens on. So this is a 24 to 70 from Sony. Um, and like, I don't know, I know it looks kinda of weird, but I do this, I do this all the time. <laughs> so you got it on the side too, if you want that. The little lip, uh, it, goes, it goes a long way, it's pretty convenient. The thing I love most about this one in particular is that it's non-intrusive. I could still flip the screen out and do whatever I want with that, no problem. I can access all of the recording and shutter buttons and dials on the top with no issues. And the way that they've designed this cage, it was just smart. It doesn't get in the way of the controls. It doesn't get in the way of your fingers. I don't find it to be uncomfortable at all. In fact, it adds a little bit of ergonomic capability that wasn't there before. And I don't know, I just, I really like this thing. Enough of me talking about the cage, let me show you how easy it is to install this thing right now. Once you take it out of the box, this is what it looks like. And the main reason that I'm choosing this cage over the other options is it is a built-in Arca Swiss plate on the bottom, which means that once you install your camera into this cage, if you wanna throw it into a DJI gimbal with the Arca Swiss mount, uh, it makes it so quick and easy to remove it and you don't have to use this tiny guy that comes with DJI gimbals. And that is a huge part of my video workflow. That's a big reason why we're going with this one today. Before you install the actual cage, you are going to have to remove these little triangular camera strap mounting points on your camera. And these are kind of annoying anyway, and they're not super uh, convenient to take off. So you kind of just gotta take off this black plastic part first. And once you get those plastic parts off, you can just set them aside because now you need to find the opening 
um, that you're gonna have to pry on. Do the same for the other side. And once you've taken those off, set them aside as well. And now you just have these metal loops on either side of your camera body. So next up, you're gonna to wanna to grab your actual camera cage and you'll see in the bottom part, small rig includes the tool that you're gonna to need to install it. it. It has an Allen head on one side and a flathead screwdriver on the bottom. And it's honestly a really convenient thing to have because it just stays magnetized to the bottom plate whenever it is not in use. So you can just put it in like that and it stays there when you're using your camera. So it's pretty cool. First thing to do on the cage is actually unscrew this part here and remove this bracket. Then slide your camera into the cage this way. Make sure it's lined up and get your included flathead and start screwing the tripod quarter inch thread on the bottom into the camera. Tighten that good. You actually want to unscrew this little part from this removed bracket. Put the bracket back where it was and take this screw we just removed and you're gonna wanna put it in like so. Actually forgot to tighten down this one. Those are the wrong order operations, but you get the idea. And there you have it. Your camera cage is fully mounted and you're ready to go. So I understand that not everybody is gonna be a candidate to put a camera cage on their camera. If you're just buying a Sony a7 to take pictures of your family or your friends or to bring on a vacation here and there, the cage might not be necessary and there's no need to spend extra money if you're already happy with what your camera can do for you. But if you're looking to add new accessories or maybe try out creative angles with the magic arms or just adding an extra layer of security if you're out shooting sports or if you're in the field running around with the camera where it could easily be dropped. These are all great reasons that you should buy a camera cage. I was hesitant to purchase one for a while and I don't really know why. In hindsight, this is one of my favorite products that I've purchased in my entire camera kit and this is my second one. The other one is on the camera that I'm recording this video with right now. And that's all. I just wanted to talk about the camera cage because I just bought this one and I was going to install it. So I figured why not make a video talking about one of my favorite products that I have in my camera kit. With all that being said, if you want one of these, feel free to check out the link in the description and buy one. Or honestly, you can even find them cheaper on eBay, so you don't have to get them from Amazon. Um, but if you want to buy one, I recommend it. If you don't need one, don't buy one. Anyway, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.